Hello guys, this is Joshua A600 back with more Kaizo Mario 64 safe stateless. Okay, so this is the final star of TikTok clock besides coin collecting. And would you believe if I said it that this star was actually easy? Probably considering that I actually got the star that I did in the last episode, you know, Bowser in the Dark World Red Coins. I bet none of you out there actually thought I would get it. I'm I'm serious. I don't think any of you thought I'd actually get it. Just saying that right now. I didn't think I'd get it either, to be perfectly honest with you. But um, I did get it. An hour and 15 minutes before I was supposed to ride the bus to school for the first time. Even though I had no idea what I was doing. But I digress. And I can talk about this episode. Which nothing ac is actually very interesting about this at all. Really. Like I said, um, I think it was two episodes ago. It's literally exa the exact same thing as Tom Bomb with Womp, except doing a little s some things along the way up there. So you saw that first gear. It was right after we get off the hand, right before that first long jump double wall kick with that awful heave-ho down there. Seriously, mo I said, I think in the description, I wrote this description a little while ago. Um, I think I said it, it took about a half hour. That's true. Mo about like on, like all my deaths were literally at only that very beginning with that dumb heave ho. Seriously. Ridiculous. Um, I don't know why it's just that that and, and as I was talking about in the last episode about difference between mechanical and and like semi random and having to improvise sort of thing, that heave ho is probably the number one contender on that list. Forget about the amp at the begin at the very beginning. No, that heave ho is awful. That he like depending on where that heave ho is, it can make your life blissful or terrible because wherever it is, it um, determines the amount of space you have to get a good running start and angle and momentum to make a good wall kick or not. So, yeah. And you can see I fell a little there, and but I just got right back up. Like. Like, this part, this is just uh, some difficult platforming, which is fun, but mechanical. Mechanicalness is good. Number two right there. Not very difficult. I uh, figured out how to do that uh, wall, or that um, triple jump wall kick really well. Here, I, if I remember correctly, have to wait a little bit for um, that, that one to time out. Luckily, if you're far enough away, the one in the corner stays in the corner. And, yep, definitely enough room to be able to do that uh, triple jump. Very easy, actually. You, you just need some patience for that. Okay, and these yellow convertibles. Like I said, it's weird. Why is this part up here pretty much unchanged? I like that it's unchanged, but it doesn't make sense as to it being unchanged, if you know what I'm saying. Because it's supposed to be supposed to be really excruciatingly difficult. The hardest level in the game, with the exception of the final Bowser, number three. And no, and I meant number three secret, but obviously final Bowser is the third Bowser, or something like that. I I don't remember what I said. But yeah, and yet the, he left it, and he again Omega Edge left it relatively unchanged. I'm happy, but it just doesn't make sense. That wall kick is very easy now. Number four. So you kind of you can just walk into it. You don't even have to jump, which is great. So then this fifth uh, secret was actually um. See, like like I said, we just made it to Stomp Off of Womp. Not we didn't do anything different for that. Here I'm just kind of figure out. I'm trying to figure out like the best way to get down. I didn't practice this last secret all that well, or all that much. And then, yeah, you kind of can just long jump to it. There it is. And it appears at the very bottom of the level. Now, now I just have to figure out how to get down there, which I do. But I do it kind of slowly, as you can tell by how much time is left in the video. I can see how much time is left. And I assume you can too, unless you're in full screen mode. And then you might not, unless you have to move the mouse. And as you can tell, I'm just saying random nonsense. because I And I accidentally hit the mic. And I ran out of things to say. Except red coin because, you know, I want full health because that's totally important to do, right? Seriously, I'm just, I'm, I'm nonsense, rambling nonsense. 
That's what that's what happens when I'm in post commentary and I run out of things to say. I just kind of need to talk and talk and talk, and it's probably getting kind of annoying and tedious for you guys to listen to. But I have to do it because of the star. The star. I need post commentary. I need the sound of my voice because I'm egotistical like that. Except not really. Here, um, I'm. Yeah, here I'm still trying to figure out like the best way to go at this because I actually never practiced getting the star, which is funny. So I knew that bullet bill isn't gonna hit me, so it's I know it's safe to, safe to stand there. And then I notice I can just uh, long jump over there, which I do in a second. There we go. Taking more damage. But look, a star. Go. Yes. We got it. 117. Only three left. Well, two, really. Ha. I'm Joshua600, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.